What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's that time of the week. It's time for another weekly rotation and there's some newer stuff to the collection. As per usual, I always have newer stuff coming in as well as a few that I just wanted to reach back for. And one, it's newer to the collection. It was my first time giving it a full wear and I love this fragrance. We'll get into that midweek, but it's week number 224 in my weekly rotation. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, I believe this to be one of the greatest leather dominant, leather accord fragrances of all time. It's been mimicked by many. We're talking about Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Eau de Parfum. This is gorgeous. A little bit of sweetness, a hit of florals, and a lot of that bright leather accord. It has like this sharp, kind of edgy, rough and tumble tone to it, a little animalistic. Beautiful, classy. But I don't think it's so dressy that you can't just rock it casually. Um, I wore it with a with a polo shirt, just collar, some jeans. You know, nothing super dressy. Pretty casual for the most part. Worked for me. Smells really good. Great performer as well. Actually, no, I take that back. Uh, that was when I wore the Parfum, which is later in the week. This was the day I went get some more ink when I got some more tattoo work done. I know people are going to ask. I got a bunch more tattoos. I was rocking a sleeveless with some baggy camo pants that day. So I was super, super casual when I wore this. Wear what you like when you like is the moral of that story. Yeah, I forgot that's what I wore this for. Um, I love this fragrance. So my decant had been long empty. I was due for a bottle. Finally ended up adding it to the collection. I got a bunch of other fragrances that smell like it. Uh, I didn't need to add it to the collection, but I mean, why the hell not? It is that good if you never tried it before. You really should, especially if you like leather. It's Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Then I got the shower. I just picked this one up at the rack stores recently, and I figured I'd give it a shot. I think all it's really good for is out the shower. It is classic aqua from Banana Republic. It smells very much like a little bit of Invictus Aqua with a whole lot of Nautica Voyage to me. I got maybe two hours out of it was all I could really tell that it was lasting. It smells really good, though. If you like Nautica Voyage, you'll like this. If you have Nautica Voyage total waste of money you can get nautical voyage for the round same price the only caveat is this is a 4.2 ounce bottle 16 bucks so you get more of it for about the same price so there's that working in its favor you basically get more of a similar scent profile now i do get more performance out of nautical voyage yes i get decent performance out of nautical voyage but this is a pass for most people it's, it's pretty much just an out the shower gym refresher kind of fragrance nothing special here out the shower banana republic classic aqua Moving into Monday, I'm quite the fan of this one. Um, I love it. It's tropical, very fruity, citric, shower gel, metallic, spiced. We're talking about Jasada Ambassador. This is such a good fragrance. I love this stuff. Great performance. Oh, man. Wife's a big fan of this one. I'm a big fan of this one. Wife's a really, really big fan of this one. I don't blame her. Metallic cap. I mean, uh, not metallic cap. Magnetic cap was what I meant to say. And pretty good atomizer does the job but the scent profile is where it's at scent performance that's the two most important factors at least to me it is and the versatility is pretty high on this one though i do think that added fruity kind of tropical feel to it lends itself to the warmer weather uh, you can wear this one as a signature scent year round it's going to pull compliments it performs really well it's highly versatile with that added freshness it's a little bit more casual it's not really something I would want to dress up, but I mean, it'll work fine if you really want it to. And I actually didn't wear anything out the shower that evening, but during the day was the kind of underrated, in my opinion. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Jasada Ambassador. Now, this next one I wore during the day. I wore it out the shower. I had wore it, actually, now that I think about it, I wore it out the shower the night before. I just didn't have it lined up next to it, so I forgot. So the previous day, I had it out the shower that evening. Then during the day today, on Tuesday, as well as out the shower, I went with Dumont's Nitro Red. This is everything I heard it was. It definitely reminds me of fragrances like Hawass and Invictus, and definitely I get some YEDP from the Apple, but a lot of Watermelon Jolly Rancher going on here. Uh, performance is stellar. It's got a little bit of spice going for it as well. 
juicy fruit smell. Beautiful watermelon. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. I don't think it's as artificial smelling as a Hawass, as an Invictus, as a YEDP. But, I mean, it's not drastically higher quality. It just doesn't come across as scratchy and synthetic to me. It's still a synthetic fragrance. But it's a powerhouse. It smells really good. It's very youthful. Super casual. Definitely, uh, a wife was my wife was a big fan of this one. I haven't had anyone else sm say anything that smelled it on me. We were out and about that day. Um, but it's good stuff. I got to say, I definitely enjoyed it. I did a full review. If you want to hear more, definitely check that on the channel page. But all day long, I went with Dumont Nitro Red. Now, moving into Wednesday, this is the fragrance I was talking about in the intro. That This is my first full wearing. I did some test sprays prior, but I love this fragrance now. I really do. The opening is, let me paint you a picture. Picture Invictus Platinum. Now take the herbal tone away at the top. And what's left, you get the opening of this fragrance and it dries into Coach for Men. This is Bad Boy Cobalt, the original from Carolina Herrera. I love this fragrance. I've seen people in my Sin of the Day uh, shorts video talking about they get bad performance. I got great longevity out of it. I clocked it at 10 hours before it was faint. Um, and when I say that, I mean I don't have to dig my nose in looking for it. Like I can hover and still get a nice whiff of it. It's not a complete faint skin scent yet. Projection is gone. But it's still there, and it still has a little bit of a trail. But point being, I get all the sweetness up top. It's got truffle and plum, and I do get that fruitiness. It's very much dries into a synthetic blue. Fresh, synthetic, and woodsy as it dries. But in the opening, I get more spice and a lot of sweetness. And that sweetness surprisingly fades. It still surprises me that it fades the way it does. And what you're left with in the dry down for a long time is a very fresh and synthetic, airy type of blue fragrance that's based around a light, fresh spice, a soft touch of sweetness, and a nice woodsy tone. I really like this fragrance. We're definitely spraying it. I'm a fan. I like this so much more than the Elixir because of its versatility. The Elixir smells great, but this I can wear in more situations. I'm a very situational and seasonal person when it comes to my fragrances, but this is immediately one of my favorite blues. One of my favorite mass appealing fragrances. This has jumped up pretty high in the rankings in the collection, I gotta say. During the day, Bad Boy Cobalt, the original. Then I got the shower, we stuck with the blue theme with Periellus Aqua Extreme, kind of designated as, you know, kind of staying in the rotation for out the shower here lately since I picked it up. I do like it quite a bit. It's kind of like Dylan Blue meets Invictus Aqua. You gotta lose some of the dark notes from uh, Dylan Blue. It's not just a clever play on that tone of blue, it does have some similarities to it. It's a good fragrance. I like it. Nothing special in performance, but it smells really good. Aquatic, spicy, citrus, woodsy, a little musky. It does the job. Out the shower, Periellus Aqua Extreme. Moving into Thursday. Now, this was the day I was definitely wearing a polo and jeans and was a bit more casual with Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Parfum. And I like this one more then the regular Eau de Parfum, which this is still an Eau de Parfum. They label it as a Parfum. There we go. The focus came back. They label it as a Parfum. It's still an Eau de Parfum concentration from what I understand. Um, but here you get some added freshness. And the florals are intensified because there's iris in here. And that violet leaf really shines. It gives, us, gives it this slight aquatic, semi-metallic kind of feel that freshens things up a little bit. Still the nice floral hit that was already there from like the jasmine sambach note from the regular formula. Add some iris. Like I said, the violet leaf. You still get that nice leather accord. This is a fresher, slightly more versatile take on the scent profile. At least to me. I am such a fan. I love this fragrance. This is so good. I enjoy both versions of Tom Ford's ombre leather that are available in the signature line. This is another one, just like I ran out of my decant of the other version. I had ran out of my decant of this. I'd been needing to add the two. I w if I was to pick one, it would be this one. I do prefer this one over the regular version, but you can't go wrong with either. I actually didn't wear any anything out the shower that evening, but during the day it was Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. Moving into Friday was quite the stellar smelling day. I gotta say, during the day was great. Wife kept telling me how great I smelled. It lingered everywhere. It filled the apartment before we left for the day. Uh, it's good stuff. I think it's underappreciated in its line. It's Aqua de Jo Parfum. It was a good release. I don't care what anybody says. I think it was a great addition to the line last year. It performs great. It smells like fresher Profumo. 
cool with that. It lightens the incense a little bit, enhances the rosemary, and it's fresher and more aquatic. Still performs great on my skin, too. I think it's so good. Aquatic green with a hit of smoke. Easiest way to describe it. Smells really good. Stays true to the DNA. Truer to the DNA than the Profumo, honestly. Again, I think it's a great addition to the collection. Get out and try it. If you haven't tried it, don't just trust opinions on the internet, including my own. Spray this one on your skin. It might end up being one of your new favorites because it is that good to me during the day. Aqua de Joe Parfum. Now I got the shower. It was time for a nice shave. So I, instead of going with the usual, which I've been using Shave Sticks, Cremo Original, and my Dior Sauvage App Shave Splice. It's kind of been my go-to for a while. I wanted to lather it up and have a different experience. So I went with the Zaharoff Signature Tabac Shave Set. This is the Aftershave Splash. I used the soap. And then, of course, I gave myself some sprays of the fragrance. Love this fragrance. Another one the wife was complimenting me heavily on because we were both fans of this fragrance. Zaharoff's number one seller all time. A true masculine signature scent for a gentleman that likes aromatic tobaccos because there's a little bit of everything here booze woods sweetness spice it's all here it's just so well balanced uh claude Deere created a masterpiece for george he really did it's such a phenomenal fragrance i highly encourage you get a sample and try this one in the link below you can get a 3ml spray sample and just try it for yourself because it is that good out the shower had a good shave with zaharoff signature tobacco Finally on Saturday, what I'm currently wearing, still going strong off my skin. I have five sprays on. Not going strong, but it's still going decent. At least, you know, not crazy beast or anything like that. The strength of it is has been over for a few hours, but I'm rocking Latafa Asad Zanzibar. So with it being Easter weekend, we didn't think that out too well because everybody is here in PCB. The beaches have been packed. The traffic was all-time horrible today. Uh, so we didn't go to the beach like we were planning, but I still wanted to wear this fragrance. I was planning on wearing this to the beach today. I still enjoyed it. Salt water, slightly creamy coconut, and roasted tonka beans. Because the vanilla incense combo, that's how I, I interpret it. I get great longevity out of this. I get slightly above average projection. If you spray it heavy, it'll be a monster. And I've seen people give me, I've seen a lot of mixed feedback. I've seen vomiting emojis. I've seen scrubber. I've seen weak performance. I've been called bro a thousand times. All these different things, as well as the other side of the coin of phenomenal performance. I think it smells great. Oh, it's, I've gotten a bunch of compliments with it. It's one of those polarizing releases. This, I've never seen so much for a $35 fragrance because that's going right for it right now. It's crazy. Great atomizer, great fragrance, great price, great performance. It's a blind buy, though. You're going to run the risk, but I am sure happy to have it. I bought it for 50 bucks straight from Latafa as a pre-order. I was so excited to get this one. Uh, beautiful fragrance. No, it is not a clone. It will kind of remind you of Lebeau. Same perfumer. I get it. It's a coconut fragrance, but it's not Lebeau. It is definitely its own thing. It's a great tropical option. That, you know, give it a shot if it interests you during the day. I'm rocking Assad Zanzibar. And then we got the shower in a little bit. I want to stick with the fresh steam, but I want to go even fresher. One of the current greats out the shower in this weekly rotation has been Happy Chopard Lemon Dolce. I love this fragrance. It is so phenomenal. I love the bottle. I love the smell. Sharp, fresh cut lemons. There's other citruses going on. There's this fresh, musky, white floral tone. It is a women's fragrance, but I don't care. It doesn't lean all that feminine to me. Fresh cut lemons, clean musk and florals, fresh white florals like freesia kind of smell. I don't even remember if it's freesia, lily of the valley, something like that. It's a very fresh white floral smell, not a real powdery type of thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Such a great fragrance. This 40 ml, $14 was what I paid for it. They have 100 mls, and uh, I don't need to buy one anytime soon, but maybe at some point I will have to because I do keep going back to this one pretty often. I love this one. It's very invigorating and revitalizing after a nice shower, a nice, hot, clean shower. This is phenomenal. I can't wait to spray this one, actually. Talking about it and sniffing it out in the air, this is going to be great because I'm going to take my shower in about 15 minutes. Happy Chapard, Lemon Dolce. Well, that was this week's rotation, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What you guys wear this week? Comment down below. I love reading those comments. My favorite comments of the week every week. 
is to read what you guys have been wearing in your rotations. And, it, you know, it always cracks me up. If we, did we match anywhere? Did anybody wear any of the fragrances I wore this week? It doesn't have to be on the same day. Just, uh, you know, were we having a similar vibe with our fragrance choices this week? Let me know down below. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances I wore this week and give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. You never know. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.